Um, I just want to make a part two. Um, if you have the eyes to see that this will likely, um, that the wife of Elijah and or Moses um, will have to be given at the altar, so to speak. One of the most questionable and debatable verses in our Bibles, I think, comes to life. Um, wait, let me adjust the screen. And that's Jude 1 9. Everybody asks about Jude 1 9, you know, Mike, about the body of Moses. And I think the answer to Jude 1 9 is that it's a future prophecy. And um, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth as an example, suffering the vengeance of hellfire. So in the contents that we're talking about, we're talking about the Great Tribulation. Because this will happen before Christ touches the earth. Likewise also filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, with contending, when contending with the devil, he disputed over the body of Moses. There's not bringing railing accusation against him, saying, The Lord rebuke you. And um, I think that's a future prophecy of um, when we see Moses die. And we know Moses and Elijah are going to be the two witnesses. We know what's going to happen when they die. Um, it's going to be like Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, you know, I, I don't want to speak um, unheard of things, but will their dead bodies be sexually defiled? Uh, it's possible. You know, where Mike, when, you know, the Archangel Michael says, I'm not even going to go there. You know, the Lord rebuke you. And, um, because in the Great Tribulation, if you know, people will be giving birth to monsters. Okay? Yeshua said on the cross, you know, in the times of the Bible, guys, um, having children was a really big blessing. And if you didn't have children, you were considered a curse. Not like our times today. We're so messed up. But, um, and Yeshua said on the cross, the days will come, blessed will be those who, who are barren and who will not have children. And that's a reference to the Great Tribulation. Because in the Great Tribulation, people will be giving birth prematurely to monsters. How is that possible? It's possible because we're going to see a judgment and a paradigm shift. And the wicked are going to be clothed with death in order to bring people with repentance. And those who are so stiff-necked and refuse to repent... You know, they'll eventually breed. They're going to be living corpses. And I guess, you know, the children they have will be monsters. You know, they'll be giving birth to monsters. And so it'll literally be like the days of Noah before Christ touches the earth in um, the Great Tribulation. It would just be, you know, it's going to be a living circus. Um, so I just wanted to make this part two. Um, that's my take on Jude 1.9. Uh, we won't know until this stuff comes to pass. Um, I do know, you know, we've been talking about in this channel that we should be expecting an army coming on our land. And um, and just from, uh, I, can't, I don't have it to pull it up, but the slide that I made on Amos 1-1, you can tell that this army is going to come on the land Um when there's already a paradigm shift, right? Um, the Messiah is the first fruits. So there will already be, the government will already be on his shoulders. You know, when the, as the scripture says, um, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord raises its standard. So um, I want to see if I can find it. It's actually in the book of Malachi, uh, chapter 1. Um you know what? Let me just do a Google search really quick. Hi, Lord. And we could see this in the book of Malachi. Um, if we have the eyes to see it. Give me a second here. Uh, let's just go to the King James. So we know we have a, a decent translation here. Behold, um... What the Lord says, Behold, I will corrupt your seed and spread dung upon your faces, even the dung of your solemn feast. And one shall take you away with it. 
All right, this is a confirmation that Hua showed me that when his wrath comes through the Assyrian army or an Assyrian invasion, as the book of Habakkuk says, that I will do a thing, um, I'll, I will do a thing that you will not believe, in, even if it be told to you, and that is an invading army coming on our land. Um, but we could see this in the book of Malachi. He showed me they're already going to be clothed with death. They're already going to be smitten on the cheekbone, as Psalm 3 says. Okay, the cheekbones means means youth, means beauty, means, um, you know, our physical looks, tenderness, right? In Hebrew, that's what the cheek represents. So he's going to smite them on the cheekbone. And uh, they're going to be living corpses. And they're going to be vexing in the spirit, very weakened. And... And, you know, and then the invading army is going to come in and, you know, they're going to kidnap them. They're going to rob them and, you know, all this kind of stuff. Um, so, I don't know. This is just my take on that. And you can see that in Amos 1.1. So, I don't know. I just wanted to share this. Yah is good. Um, the Bible says not to worry about tomorrow. But um, it's disheartening. But we know he's good. And... Uh, that we're going to see such hard times. But we know he's good. And we know he makes a way. Uh, he does. So um, I just wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I believe Jude 1.9 is future prophecy. That's why so many people have trouble with this verse. Um, and that's probably referring to the two witnesses. Uh, Moses being the second witness. And who knows what they're going to do to his body. As in that great, the people he's going to witness to warning about the Antichrist, it's going to be horrible. Um, you know, if you think witnessing outside of Planned Parenthood is bad, uh, times that by a trillion, it's going to be, you know, those who are left behind in the Great Tribulation, it's just going to be so, um, it's going to be so bad, so who knows what they will do to his body, what's going to happen during that three days, as Revelation tells us. Um, I don't know. Alright guys, that's my tip. God bless you.